In this video I'm going to show you a method in how to preview your content using the timeline controls provided here like so. So basically if you want to extend this um, slightly and I'll be working on showing you the proper way on how to view content. Now one of the first and most easiest ways to preview content especially in particularly with your um, with some of your video footage or animation is by clicking the spacebar tab. So go ahead and select that and you'll notice that if I stop this for a second you'll notice when I, by pressing spacebar on the keyboard you have FPS frames per second which basically saying not in real time so basically you you realize that this is playing back um, and it's not in real time now as stated before video can be um, in its purest form is basically images switched together played in played back in rapid succession so basically by selecting the spacebar after effects kind of goes through and does its best to stitch those um, series of sequences together and you'll s notice that you'll see this green bar here now if I select if by clicking if I click this and make any changes to this um, video footage we lose that green line so say for example if I just click and I'm just gonna press the up key on the keyboard like so just by that small change but so I've nudged it by a few pixels and you can see that I've lost that green bar that means I need to re-render and in order to preview this again so if any small changes does affect that so another quick way if I scrub through this you can see that you can that green bar kind of filling filling out as well and I think it's the same as um, Adobe Premiere if they haven't changed it in this version okay another way to preview this properly is by RAM preview and the RAM pre preview basically previews this and places that in um, random access memory so we can do this by two ways if we select the numerical value on the keyboard shortcut that's not the zero on the actual keyboard but the little numbers associated in numerical value on the side so the laptop users I don't believe have that if you're fortunate enough you're lucky if you haven't there's another way of doing this by selecting this tab here and if I click first frame, if I select this tab here, this basically previews and renders this in real time. Um, and you can see that this is being previewed in random access memory. And you can see the numbers counting up towards 340, which is requested. And like so, and I'm going to stop this here. I'm going to click rewind. And I'm going to play this. And that's now rendered out enough for us to preview this as well. And there's a few rendered options as well. If we go, if I click stop and rewind, so basically that that's brilliant. That's what we really need. And we'll, you'll always see me switch, select that tab. However, you'll see that that footage basically gets recorded and being placed in your random access memory. So it will slow down your machine a lot. If your machine is is becoming slowed down, there's a way to basically remove all of the cached RAM previews and the way we can do that is if we, could, if we go to composition and go to sorry go to edit and go to purge and just go to undo um, go to select image caches and if I select that you'll see I now have to um, re-record that and re-preview that sorry inside After Effects so I need to s switch the RAM preview again so that's basically wiped out all the previewed versions as well now another tip on um, previewing in RAM it will slow down your machine if your machine does get slowed down try to increase or give devote more power in After Effects and I'll show you that on a Mac as well on another tutorial or upgrade the RAM is one of the uh, best ways also don't it's not worth um, touching the CPU just upgrade all the RAM also you can upgrade the video cards and the graphic cards that boosts up the power inside After Effects as well another quick thing is to do with resolution now I've got it on auto auto is kind of really cool we can also do half the size so it'll only preview the half the size of that render so there we go you can see I've lost resolution as well and if I click rewind and I can also go to a third so basically it will preview RAM preview only a third of those pixels become rendered and a quarter will only be um, a quarterly of those pixels being rendered as well. I normally have it on auto. Auto is a really 
a cool one full screen will again slow down your machine and will slow down your preview inside your um, environment now again previewing your RAM previewing options has no bearing on your final rendering we're not finally rendering this is we're only previewing in RAM preview mode so these are the kind of options that you'll need to be dealing with when playing back to review your content inside After Effects.